Okay, so we're inside visiting with Bishop Caldwell, and we brought a little bit of a donation up. And um, do you want to tell us about why you're out here on the roof? Well, one of the reasons is to bring a awareness to the homeless population in Kansas City, and two is to save the community safe house. Uh, these kids need a place to go to. As you can tell, if you if you've seen any or ever been over here, you, you know it's it's remarkable when you see kids run when they hear shooting not home, but run to the community safe house instead. They bypass their house and run here. And this just happened a few days ago. So this lets us know that we need to be here more than anything else, along with our transitional living program that houses about 70 people right now. Uh, we just can't afford to let that close. Or what are all those people going to go? Uh, what are the kids going to do for meals in the evening? It's up to us to uh, uh, to make it happen. And you know, it's it's it's. I'm, I'm making a statement. I'm willing to put myself and everybody else out here uh, uh, out of our comfort zone. So it's time for us to get outside of our comfort zone and do it. All right. Hey, I got company now. Oh, y'all get out there. Yes. It's yeah. cold too. I mean, you're right by the window, but it's cold out there. I feel the cold air coming in. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, this is why we're here. We ain't going nowhere. Uh, we're going to be here for the uh, next week uh, fasting. Uh, no food, no water. Uh, just out here. We've been here now three days that way. You got to have water. No food, no water. Really? That's it, yeah. Yes. All right. Extreme uh, uh, things that desire extreme measures. So. Uh, All right. Well, I'll talk more about that off camera. I'm okay. gonna start berating you. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. <laughs> That's too much. But I guess you're. You know, people are dying. People are dying in the streets. You know, when it comes to losing a life, we have to really get outside of our own comfort zone, and it's one that I believe in that much to put our own lives on the line. When we took the pledge here to, to uh, join Stop the Killing by thinking about our brothers first before we think about ourselves, that's one of those things. We have to think about other people before we think about ourselves. Uh, there's more than one way to catch a killer. And it's not just going out and getting them, but showing other people that we believe in you. And this is one thing I believe in y'all. I believe in Kansas City. I believe in the kids. I believe in each and every organization that works together to better Kansas City. That's what it's all about. Suste, do you want to add anything? Is that you? Well, it's been a uh, long year. Uh, we set our plan in place to uh, provide the services for the community. We met all our commitments to, despite uh, setbacks and, and you know people trying to stop us. And now here we are at this point where uh, we need uh, you know, uh, no pride involved. We just have to tell the community, you know, we fought for this. We did it for the kids. And if we're going to keep going, we need we need everybody's help. So we ask them for everybody's help. You can see what we're doing on the Stop the Killing Casey's uh, Facebook page. And uh, see if uh, your heart reaches out to these kids. Uh, you can hit, hit uh, uh, Community United uh, Casey on the uh, GoFundMe website. Or you can hit our PayPal account on Community United KC if you want to help out. Peace. Cool. Thank you. All right.